Okay, so if this is a take two, then it's a take two. I don't actually know because I haven't edited this far yet, obviously, because of the space time rift crap that happened of, yeah, before. Never go into them. Never again. Hey guys, this is Game of Cow. We are playing this again. Uh, just in case this isn't a take, uh, in a uh, just another recording thing, and just in case I do have this one. I'm just going to uh, just going to have the text scrolling here anyway for the first time because why not? So yeah, this this level I got into the second room most of the time and I got a fair bit of the way through it but not far enough for a few reasons that we will see as we go along. There's one jump in the first room that killed me about seven or eight times in a row, several times, that just annoyed the hell out of me. I did go down to one life off of this level. I can't remember how many I had before going in. I think it was around about 20-ish. So yeah, I, I did lose quite a lot of lives in this place. So that, that's a thing. Anyway, the premise of the level is that we have you guys, who I can never remember the name of actually, but they're from the uh, Doki Doki Panic Mario version. And, uh, yes, that's what they are. They can be attacked, like regular stuff. You need a P-switch to get down there, or you would technically need a P-switch. What you really need is the P-button. Yeah, that's what I'm going to totally call it now, because that's what it looks like to me. But, yeah, the way that you do that is you, uh, because of the short delay on the stuff, you've got to hit that one like that, and that is fine. This is the jump that really screws me over, and I have no idea why, because it's not that hard, and I've done it first time, I've done it for a lot of the times, and then it just started not being something I could do. And I, again, I have absolutely no idea why. Kind of surprised that pulled off, but oh well, you, um... You need to go down this pipe because you can't get, go over the other side there, and you meet Panzers. If you can take a shell in here, then do so, because the Panzers like that one are extremely annoying. And you see the time limit thing down here, we only now have 20 seconds on the clock, which means I'm kind of being really slow here. But the idea is that every time you go through that thing, the timer resets back to 20. The water will drain your time pretty well instantly. It's a bit glitched, so it doesn't always work properly. But uh, yeah, the water is there to drain your time. And man, I was really hoping to kill this bugger. Um, there we go. And then I've got to quickly get back up because my time is running out. So it's a series of uh, challenges designed around your time aspect, and you've got to be very much aware of how much time you have left. This thing down here is a shell generator, so you want to grab that and quickly head back. And it's not easy when you don't have a fireball, that's for sure. If you can somehow keep a shell in to this bit from the previous area, then you could probably skip quite a bit here. And this is as far as I ever got, so uh, kind of like Cave of Lost Pride here, I managed to do everything I had before in a single go, which is quite awkward to say the least. But we are not out of the 20 second time gimmick thing, and this time there is no reset in it, so yeah, good luck with that, I suppose, because you've got to get up and get this. Really, you've got to do all this in that length of time? I guess it's not too hard, is it really? But the problem is then dealing with everything here. Can I... Yes, I can reset the time there, which is quite okay. And I am sort of falling blind here, which is not good. Is there a time thing up here? Yes, there is. So that is kind of fortunate. No idea what exactly is going on, and that's sort of bullshit, to be completely honest, because you're doing this blind. There is no way that you can know what is down there. Absolutely no way. So that... To me, that is complete bullshit, and that's probably going to force me to end up restarting this about 50 times now. Because now I don't have two hits to take going in, and I don't have the fireball to kill the panzers, so it's, uh, yeah. 
And then that happens because somehow, for some reason lately, I've been massively overstating my jumps all the time and I just, I don't quite understand why I'm doing that. Like, I'm not jumping on stuff as I know I can and know I should be. Either I'm going too far or sometimes I don't go far enough and it's just, well, why? The engine is precise enough that you can do stuff like this, right? That's kind of stupid. Oh, oh Here comes how to do this without um, weapon area. And it's kind of ridiculously enough. Why did I even go up that way? I'm supposed to go the other way around. Duh! That's how you do it. On my face there. It's kind of annoying. This is if this even gets kept in. <laughs> Come on! Really? That's not even funny. In the end, after the, after the, oh, look, to, to the time, I didn't even know because I was paying too much attention to try and get the shell stuff. Wow. Okay, that sucks. Jeez, freaking everything. Yeah, this jump is going to start being a bitch again now, isn't it? God damn it. Maybe I should throw the shell down there, and um, if all else fails, then at least a shell might be able to take me up to safety. Uh, up, up, up. There we go. More time. I don't even know what this switch is for. I don't even think it is actually for anything. God damn it all. Oh, that's... It better not be for something, because seriously, if it's if you need to use that P-switch for something as well, I will not be... Well, I mean, no, it's it's got to be for some reason that it's there, right? But it's too quick to do anything with, so I don't get it. Run. There's got to be some reason that you need the thing, right? What's down here? Absolutely nothing. Why do you need that switch? What honest use does this switch have? Is it maybe to go up and get that? Is that really it? Because that's a bit of a lame thing, right? But if that's honestly all that it is, I guess I can deal with that. Um, oh no, what the... Oh, was I supposed to go down the pipe? Um... Because I didn't really check the pipe, did I? <laughs> Man, I'm dumb. Seriously. You can tell the difference, though. Like, I'm not sounding particularly agitated by anything at the moment. It's just like the previous... I just finished, before doing this, I just finished recording the, uh, what is going to be, I think, part, uh... Is it 15? No, it would be 16, wouldn't it? The, um, the one with Aero Skyline and, uh, Puff Cloud 3. I've just sort of finished recording that, um, before doing this one. Um, because those two levels, despite how short they were, just, you know, those two levels are absolutely fantastic. And, um... It really does change the mood a lot when you've gone through levels which are actually good compared to, you know, I can't remember, compared to slogging through crap for ages. It's, um, it's such a difference in the mind that, oh, I don't know, can't go back and close that demon there. Uh, wish I could get through one of these days, and um, that would always be nice. I do not like him, though, because he's a bit tricky to work around, but you can't kill him off. Uh, you have to get rid of you, take the shell. Yeah, you can totally do that in one elsewhere, especially if you're small, because it's a lot easier to uh, navigate around that if you're small. So that's good. And then this, you've just got to spin jump and die because the time thing, because the panzer happened to shoot that time. When it doesn't always, it hasn't actually fired at me before in time. I thought, oh, why does everybody have such fucking wild engines around here, seriously? Just so many ridiculously wild cars going around this place, it's so weird. I don't even think they come up on recording very much, but uh, still, it's annoying to me. My windows are double glazed and I still hear them ridiculously loud, it's kind of stupid how that works. Uh, I could have gone worse. What? Oh, controller, no, I never, I never let go of the button. The, eight, the controller, like, that sound you're hearing there was me pressing the jump button, not letting go of run. Controller, like... Uh, just let me down and onto the 
time set up. Yeah. Goodness gracious, this is just small. Everywhere is fatality if you are not careful. Yes, three getting out cooling. It's not working in the slightest. Oh, I'm going to jump up to a yell. Supposed to go down that point. Why did I think I had to go the other way? And there's the midpoint, too. God, I am dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, that that is not how it's supposed to go. But anyway, now we're in Mecha Super Power Buzzy Speed Town, and that's going to be interesting to say the least. Uh, can I... No I can't. Good to know. I didn't know that those clouds were not solid, considering every other cloud in this game has been solid so far, pretty much. Why are you still giving me exposition at that point? I don't care anymore. Like, seriously, Toadsworth, just shut up sometimes. You talk too much. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Super Hyper Turbo Buzzy Town. Look at him go. He's just, like, ridiculously on a mission. And nobody is going to deny him that mission, that is for sure. These buzzies work exactly the same as the ones which were in uh, Mario 3, fairly obviously. And... What the fuck was that? Um, I know it was a bat, but like, what? Oh god. Um, and yeah. <laughs> oh dear god, you have got to be kidding me. Um, I've got to jump on the buzzies. Yeah. Okay, that was kind of scary. You, you. Yeah, bad. No, fireball too late. Uh, I was hoping to fireball him when he came up, but no, too late. Uh, Buzzy, just let me jump over. Yeah, God dang it. I had a shell defense and everything, and it didn't help. Uh, I reckon fire is what I'd need to get through there. You go ahead. You're not even going to die to that, are you? Yeah, I didn't think you would. Oh, uh, yeah, of course I can't jump on you when you're like that as well. I forgot about that. Well, I forget from that one level, Football Canyon it was, wasn't it? That you can't jump on those guys when they've got their uh, propellers propelling. But you can normally, so what the hell. This is a neat sort of area, though, Jesus. Neat, but kind of scary when that sort of thing happens. Oh, come on! Are you, like, immune to the shell or something? Because, really? I'm totally gonna die during this, aren't I? Uh, no, apparently not! <laughs> that was awesome! That was truly freaking awesome to see that come to fruition and work. Ah, <sighs> those bats, though. Those... Why, do, why are bats always the worst enemies in any video game ever, seriously? And yeah, you are like totally immune to uh, doing that, but you are not immune to getting yourself killed by that ideal. Yeah, if I, if I had fire, I could totally just skip half of this, I think, but I don't, so... Screw that, basically. Um, you know, you're just getting in the way at this point, aren't you, really? I could do with a way of disposing of you, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. So instead, I'm just going to go down. See, yeah, what I was talking about before, these clouds, they're totally freaking solid, so why the other ones weren't, I don't know. And this, this seems to follow the uh, thwomp glitch thing in the sense of uh, those guys, they kind of... Uh, activate when you're on the opposite side of the screen to them as well, as if they were next to you. That was potentially very fatal, and I'm not really too happy about that, because that was a bit luck-driven as well, but oh well, there's a power-up over here, so I guess we're going down. And suddenly we're in Desert Town, because this is what World 6 is going to be, isn't that right, Mr. the Pokemon? Yep, obligatory muncho because that has to be in every single level ever. And I, I totally jumped on that guy, so that shouldn't have even counted, but whatever. I reckon sprite limitation sort of killed that. That was going to be a... Uh... Yeah, see, I totally jumped on that guy and it counted, so what the hell. But yeah, I reckon he was going to summon an, an army of uh, Duda faces known as the uh, Super Coopers, with which you could probably get up there. But, uh, oh, 
What a fucking horrible trick! <laughs> what a horrible trick to put at the end of the level. Oh my god, that was terrible. <laughs> oh, but luck, luck saved the day there, but man, that was so nasty. Why does this... I know this game came out ages before, but why does this sound like something Black and White would have in the, uh... Is it Opelucid or whatever? The, um, the name of the last town in Black, it's the futuristic thing, and it sounds sort of similar to me. Like, not the same tune, but the same audio style. I don't know. Anyway, I am actually going to leave this one here. What I I don't know whether I'm going to do it as a take two or whether it's just going to be a new video thing. But regardless, it's been long enough in recording, and I really should learn to just do lower amounts of stuff for the time. So yeah, this has been Game of Cow playing production, I guess. And well, there's been some entertainment and not so much in other places, but this one was largely good natured, unlike the last time when I was literally same as Cave of Lost Pride style thing, so I probably will cut it out. But anyway, join us next time when we start World 6 in its desert town, so yeah.